Yo, what's going on? Welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the difference between a $200 deck of cards and a $2 deck of cards. Now, it's important to note that when I purchased these, they were not $200. Uh, these Virtuoso playing cards, these are the first launch edition Virtuoso playing cards. So when they first started printing cards, this is what they put out. And they were about, I think, $12 or $15 on Kickstarter. And because they did so well, and they've produced many, many decks afterwards, the price went up to like 200 bucks on eBay plus. I did not pay $200 for these, but that's the value of them now. And we're gonna see how they fare in handling and everything else against a $2 deck of bicycle backs. So to start off, we're just gonna take a look at these decks individually and see the differences in the, mostly the tuck box, because I don't wanna to touch the cards just yet. We're gonna do a blindfold challenge to see if I can tell the difference between these two decks. But first, let's just open them up and see what they're all about on the outside. All right. So to start off, you know what? Let's start with uh, let's start with this deck here. This is a regular blueback bicycle deck, the kind you'd find at Costco. Uh, they're roughly two to three dollars, depending on where you can get them. Uh, so let's start by opening this baby up. As you can see, the seal right here, that little cellophane starts here, opens up nice and easily, as you'd expect. You see, this is the uh, this is the French English version. Bought these in Quebec, so they they have a different back than the normal uh, two dollar bicycle cards. Complete with a little black seal, hideous barcode on the back. Not too not too nice covering up that ace, but uh, yeah, pretty pretty standard. Let's take a look at the Virtuoso Launch Edition playing cards. Now to open these is a sin, but we're gonna have to do it, guys. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to bust these open. So as you can see on the outside, uh, they got the little vert sign here, the V. What's cool about these is that when you put three together, so one, two, and three, they would make like this triple design, uh, which kind of, you know, kind of doubles as a display on your uh, on your shelving. So let's crack these open as well. All right, so as you can see here, there is no seal. These are just in a sort of matte finished cardboard box. They. Uh, they feel about the same. I guess you can really tell the difference between the weight in these two or the size, um, but definitely like this is just your average tuck case versus a nice matte finish. No embossing here, just uh, just smooth coloring. Looks really great. Now for the uh, blindfold test, let's get into it. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna ask my assistant to hand me the blindfold. Thank you very much. And so this isn't a magic trick. I won't be trying to cheat and peek through because I know most of you know that these blindfolds when it comes to magic are about as useless as uh, something, something funny, got him. And uh, I'm going to ask my assistant to randomly give me one of the two packs. So open up the cards, give me randomly one of the two packs. Let's see what happens here. All right, uh, if you can hand me one of those packs. Okay, so. Here we go, let's see if I can tell the difference. Ooh, I can tell you right away, straight off the bat, and I am blindfolded here and I have no idea which uh, which deck my assistant gave me, but these definitely feel a lot thinner. Feels, you know what? This deck already feels broken in. The edges feel a lot smoother. This is 100% the Virtuoso playing cards. 1000% even. Yeah, these feel great, I don't know I don't know which side uh, they're oriented on right now. I'm gonna go on a limb and right, right away and say this is definitely the Virtuoso deck. Yeah, I mean, these obviously fare really well. They feel great. And I can assure you I'm blindfolded right now. I'm pretty surprised at my own cardistry skills when blindfolded, but these feel great. They have a much, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't know where I'm at. These have a much thinner feel. Um, and so when like, the Paul spreading, you can, oh, you can feel that right away. So quickly. I hope I'm in focus, by the way. Probably not. All right, and uh, now let's do, let's do the bike deck. Obviously that was the Virtuoso deck, and this is now. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I think uh, I think I may be mistaken. Um, damn it! Oh, these feel really good. Yeah, these feel definitely feel better. All right, guys, I'm not 100% sure <laughs> if uh, I'm. Hmm. 
These feel, these feel a whole lot thinner. Can I have the other deck as well? They feel, they don't feel as thick. So I'm holding them like this and they do feel thinner. There's definitely a thickness difference. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I feel like there's a thickness difference and I feel like this one is a lot bulkier than this one. This one's a lot softer and more malleable now that I'm now that I can compare them side by side. Okay, if I had to bank right now, oh, this is a hard decision. <laughs> I'm gonna look like a total fool if I get this wrong, aren't I? You know, it may just prove that it doesn't matter which deck is which and cards are cards. Um, but these do feel good. Oh, oh, here's the difference right here. I'm feeling it right now. This one here, this one here is developing a little bit of a click. You get that click in the middle of the deck, whereas this one here, feels a lot softer, it doesn't have that resistance. Mmm, that might be the defining factor, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say that this deck here is the $2 deck, and this is the $200 deck. Am I right? Hey! <laughs> ah, that's so bright. Okay, so at first, um, it did seem like these bikes over here felt really good and maybe it's just the way that these were cut, but they feel really thin. I'm having a really easy time sort of lapal spreading them and springing them. But these ones, these ones over here, definitely, now that, you know, you take a single card and you can, you can definitely feel the difference as well. Easy to say when my blindfold's off, but. <laughs> so there you have it. That was the uh, blindfold test for the two decks. Interesting, very, very interesting. Off, all right. So now that we've tested both decks out, uh, what, what exactly is the difference? I mean, for $200, honestly, there is no difference. I think mainly what makes this card, this deck a desirable deck of cards is because uh, the Verts, who are amazing, like, what are they, like a flourishing team, like a team of flourishers? They, they are the Singaporean Olympic flourishing team. They've, they've designed these cards in a way that makes them look good for cardistry. It makes them look great uh, in flourishes and sort of like th they got this like geometric design. So when you're doing like this type of thing, eh? you're, you're looking like a real badass, like a real badass. They're meant for flourishing. So even fans, right? Let's do like a double fan all the way, right? So they're obviously meant for flourishing and because the people who put them out, so all the Verts guys are super popular and very good with cards, they garnished like a big following online and obviously made this deck a very desirable deck. So all of those people who want to get into flourishing, this is like probably the number one cardistry deck out there. This is probably the deck that if you were to associate a deck with cardistry, it would be this deck right here. Which, which gives it high-end value, but more of a perceived value from the aesthetic point of view. Not necessarily, like, I mean, the feel does make a difference, but these ones here, they handle well as well. They handled great. I mean, they're fine. You know what I mean? They're okay. You know, they're like that, they're like that go-to friend. You know what I mean? Who's just always there when you like call them and you're like, all your other friends are busy, but you got that one go-to friend who's just there when the other ones are like busy and you're like, hey man, what's up? And he's like, how much? You wanna hang out? And he's like, of course. That's what these are like, you know what I mean? Whereas like, this is like the guy that gets you into clubs, you know, for free, with VIP access and bottles, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know, they're both just chill people. So there you have it, my opinion on a $200 deck versus a $2 deck. At the end of the day, you know what? They're both just playing cards. If you're not a magician and you're watching this, first of all, thank you for watching to the end because you're probably bored as right now, but if you are a magician, you probably know this already. You know, there are playing cards that do have a better quality stock and a better finish. The Virtuoso playing cards just happen to be one of those decks. They are traditionally cut, which means they Pharaoh in, which is a nice little touch. The generic bicycle cards, well, obviously the attention to detail isn't there on the finish and stock and tuck case and whatever. End of the day, are they worth $200? I mean, not to me, just because I would never in a thousand years pay $200 for a deck of cards. So you out there who are on eBay right now getting money, good for you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you uh, found this entertaining, amusing, and insightful, um, or just plain stupid, which is fine. Uh, I find myself to be pretty stupid at times as well. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like below. But also, also, if you aren't subscribed already, 
it would mean the world to me if you did hit that subscribe button. And for those of you that are, be sure to hit the notification button on your way out so you get notified on every video I drop. And that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this little look into the difference between a $2 and $200 deck of cards. By the way, on a recent video, I was giving away uh, six decks of cards on my car collection video. I will announce the winner in the description below. So check that out. Thank you for participating for all of you and uh, congratulations to the winner. Also, just a quick note for those of you uh, who are still translating my descriptions and or the videos, I thank you very much. Those help me out enormously. So we've got videos translated in Polish, in Turkish, in Indian, in Chinese, in French, in German, in whatever. And it's all thanks to you guys. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna ask you guys to keep doing it, but I mean, if you're doing it anyways, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot, and it means that more people get to view these videos in their original language, and I mean, in the language that they speak, which is super cool for them. So thanks again, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. As always, I bid you a good day. A tip of the hat. Peace. Wow.